Hi, my name is John Marsden from OnlineComputerBackup.eu. Today I'm going to take a look at iDrive, the online computer data backup application. One of the things I like about iDrive is how simple it is to set up and use, even though it has loads of features. So let's get started so you can see for yourself. Click on the sign up button and you'll be taken to the account sign up page. Enter your account details and choose your account size and choose to download either the Windows or Mac Drive application. Then click on the next screen, click the download button. Once the download is completed, the setup wizard will begin. Click I agree to accept the license agreement, then accept the default file location. The application will then install. Click finish and a box will open prompting you for your account details. Complete, complete this and then click connect. Now that you get the option to either let iDrive set the encryption key or to choose your own, just remember that if you set your own to keep a copy of it safe somewhere. If you lose it and need to reinstall the application, you'll need it and iDrive support won't be able to help you. Now you come to the welcome screen. From here, you can choose to edit the backup set, edit the backup schedule, complete a bandwidth test, or simply close the screen and go to the iDrive interface. When you first go into the iDrive interface, you'll see that uh, iDrive has already selected some files for you based on its experience of the type of files that it thinks uh, people want backed up. Uh, you can change these auto selections at any time by going onto File, Automatic Selection and just clicking on any file types that you want added to your selection. Uh, it will then automatically select any of those file types. You can also add files manually by uh, going into the Explorer window and uh, selecting any files or folders that you want added to the, the backup selection and you'll see that they're added in the lower window to the, the contents of the backup set. If you want any uh, to delete any files or folders in the backup backup set, it's quite simple. Just go to the bottom window, right click, and remove. And they're, they've removed from your backup set. You can also add files to your backup set um, from Windows Explorer. Uh, simply go into any drive, add to backup set. You can also select to backup this file now. Now let's have a look at how we schedule a backup. Basically, you click the schedule backup button, and a little window opens with some options. You can choose a weekday. Uh, backup, which you can select which days of the week and at what time of day you want to back up. Obviously, you don't want it backing up whilst you're working on the machine because that's going to slow everything down. Uh, you can have a, a monthly backup, and you can choose the time and which day of the month you want it to back up on. You can select to start the backup immediately, uh, or you can cancel all backup schedules altogether. Um, it's got some little tweaks down here. It's got the auto pause feature. So if you've got it set so that it's backing up whilst you're working on the machine, it'll actually halt the backup when it sees activity, which will uh, aid with the use of the machine. You can get it to show desktop notifications on uh, the status of backups when it's completed. And if you uh, forget to leave your machine on, you can get it to uh, start the schedule backup the next time the computer's turned on. That way you don't, you don't actually miss any backups. You can also select a cut-off time so that it'll stop the backup after a, a certain time of day. A little handy feature, you can get it to uh, email you notifications, especially useful on failures, so that if, uh, if there is a backup failure, it'll actually email you and let you know. Okay, next to the Schedule Backup button, you've got uh, two other buttons, a, uh, a Backup Now button, which is pretty self-explanatory. You click that and it'll back up the backup set immediately. And you've also got Enable Continuous Backup button. Uh, this uh, little feature is uh, basically designed for small files. It's not intended to replace the Schedule Backups in any way, but uh, if you've got files that you're working on uh, that you really don't want to lose, um, it will back up uh, every 10 minutes up to a, a 50 megabyte file and it will save up to 30 revisions. Simply click the button and any files you're working on will now be backed up every 10 minutes. Right, so now let's have a look at how you do a restore. Uh, basically you click on the restore tab and uh, you, what you'll see is the, the latest version of uh, the, the backup set that's been uh, been backed up. Now to do a restore you can click on any file or any folder and it'll select the files for restore and click restore now. It'll ask you where you want to put them and then click restore and away it'll go. You can also if you want to restore previous versions uh, double click on any file and it'll get the previous versions uh, from the last 30 backups. It saves it does save the last 30 copies. You can also do a timeline restore to view the files from any particular backup set. If we click on that, it'll, you'll see that uh, the file list will change to uh, the files that are included in that particular backup set. 
You can also do a search for files to restore if you're not sure of a particular file name or you can uh, select document types or uh, picture types. Let's do a search for pictures. As you can see it's selected all the, uh, the pictures that are located in my iDrive account on their server. Uh, again I can either click and I can delete or I can restore or I can double click and it'll get me the version history. So if there's previous versions I can uh, select uh, a previous version to restore. So now let's see how we free up space on your iDrive account and uh, delete files that are no longer required to be stored. Basically click on the restore tab and uh, click on any folder or uh, individual file and hit delete and it'll prompt you to make sure you really want to get rid of it. Another useful feature is uh, if you've um, removed um, data from your computer and you're sure you no, no longer want it to be backed up, you can select a, a file or folder that contains the, the files, hit sync and Basically what it'll do is it'll prompt you saying that these, these files are stored on your iDrive account but they're no longer on your computer. Do you really want to delete them? Click sync and it'll remove all those files for you. By downloading a small additional plugin you can add drag and drop file restore capabilities to Windows Explorer with the iDrive Explorer. This gives you a virtual view of everything that's in your iDrive account. With this you can right click on the, the file you want to restore, you can view previous versions, you can select where to restore it to or you can just copy or you can just drag and drop. There you go, file restored. Okay so let's have a quick look at the uh, iDrive web interface. From here you can do quite a few things, you can edit your profile, change your email address, password etc. You can upgrade your account if you need more storage space. Uh, you can manage your backup set, let's have a quick look at that. Okay from here you can uh, add or remove any files from your computer that uh, you want in your backup set or don't want in your backup set and you can also change the schedule and any any changes you make here will be remotely fed back onto the computer that you've got iDrive stored on. You can also do a remote folder restore so you can re restore any files or folders uh, set it from here and the restore will be made back onto the computer that you've got uh, iDrive installed on. But the best bit for me, the one I like most, is that you've got access from anywhere to any of your files and folders stored in the iDrive folder. You've also got the version history again or pretty good. Right, I think that just about covers everything. As you can see, iDrive has a lot of great features and is very simple to use. In my opinion, if you're looking for an easy to use online data backup program with loads of features and need to be able to access your files from anywhere, then you won't go wrong with iDrive. But you could also check out our other online computer backup reviews at www.onlinecomputerbackup.eu. You can check out iDrive for yourself by visiting www.onlinecomputerbackup.eu forward slash go forward slash iDrive.